What's up you guys, Christian here. In this video, we're gonna talk about IIFYM. What the hell does that mean? So, if you are interested in learning more about IIFYM, I'm gonna explain everything pretty much that, get, that gets you started on IIFYM, but if you want a full meal plan, full tips and tricks, full guide, everything you need to know about, if it fits your macros, the diet, the structure, everything, I highly recommend checking out my new book, IFYM, if it fits your macros, the ridiculously simple guide to losing weight without giving up your favorite foods. Which in this video, what you're gonna learn is basically IFYM allows you to stop giving up your favorite foods and stop eating chicken, rice, and broccoli all the damn time when you're trying to lose weight. Because that is not sustainable no matter what anyone says. IFYM allows you to at least know about the freedom of being able to eat some of your favorite treats. I'm not suggesting you eat pop tarts and pizza every day. No, 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 that's not what I'm preaching. But knowing that you can actually have a dessert, you can have that pizza slice, you can have that ice cream treat in your diet and not mess everything up is very calming and very, very good to know. It basically IFYM, as you'll learn in this video, makes you an educated dieter. No diet should be horrendous, no diet. You shouldn't dread any diet. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Again, the link to this will be in the description below. It's available on Amazon and as a PDF on my website, both $5. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure to check out the link in the description. Okay, IIFYM is simply an acronym, obviously, for if it fits your macros. Pretty simple. Now your, everybody's macronutrient needs are different. That's why it's your and then macros. There are three macros, okay? Protein. Carbs, carbohydrates, and fat, dietary fat. Every food that you have eaten on the nutrition label will have these three on there. I promise you, unless it is some weird food, I don't know. I promise you every food by law has to have how much protein, how much carbs, and how much fat is in there. Cool. So another thing. IIFYM is not a diet. It is a style of dieting. Just like the portion method of dieting is not a diet in itself, the IIFYM diet method is not a diet in itself either. It's basically just a style. So like whether you follow paleo, ketogenic, whatever, you can still do IIFYM, you can still do portion control. This is not a diet in itself. Again, I'm not gonna go over how to calculate your macros or anything like that. I save all that stuff for my book, but what I am gonna show you is basically how a diet is structured in IIFYM. So basically, you, what you wanna do is think about a budget. Uh, Mike Matthews has a great analogy of when you follow flexible dieting, IIFYM, think of a budget, like an actual money budget. So let's say you have 210 grams of protein, 210 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat. Let's say some macronutrient calculator online, wherever you find it, gave you these numbers. They split these out, boom. Think of this as your budget. Think of this as, okay, I have $210 for this account, $210 for this account, and $50 for this account, okay? In order to find out how many dollars of protein are in a food, how many dollars of carbs, how many dollars of fat, to find out how much each food has, you want to download an app called MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal allows you to scan barcodes of food items, okay? And then it'll say, okay, four ounces of chicken has this amount of protein. It'll say eight ounces of chicken breast has 52 grams of protein. How do you know how much eight ounces is? Well, that's why you buy a weight scale, a food scale, where you put the chicken on it, it says eight ounces, Okay, my fitness pal says eight ounces has 52 grams of protein. Cool, so you eat eight ounces of chicken breast, 
and then you are down 52 protein dollars okay so you take away 52 grams of protein dollars from your protein account and now you have 158 grams of protein left for the day after you ate that chicken breast okay let's say you have 20 gram or let's say you have 250 grams of brown rice with your chicken breast let's say that's 80 80 grams of carbs that's what my fitness pal says okay cool so I don't, I, this is obviously an example i'm not sure if 250 grams of rice has that amount of carbs just an example okay you've had eight ounces of chicken breast that amount of rice now you, you want a flavor you want some butter maybe some olive oil let's say you have 14 grams of fat you scan the barcode of the olive oil whatever you okay it says two tablespoons has 14 grams of carbs or 14 grams of fat so you measure out two tablespoons of olive oil okay that should be 14 grams of fat boom now you have what now you have 36 grams of fat left over for the day okay so this was meal one does that make sense so you got your protein your carbs your fat you scan barcodes you got your chicken your rice your olive oil you scanned it with my fitness pal the nutrition labels they told you okay eight ounces has 52 you weigh out eight ounces 200 grams of rice or whatever you weigh out 200 grams of rice on your food scale okay that has 80 grams then you do you scan the barcode of the olive oil it says two tablespoons has 14 grams of fat okay you measure two tablespoons of olive oil that's meal one i'm not saying that's a optimal meal one but it's just an example now for the rest of the day you have this amount of macros left now you start over whenever you have meal two or snack scan the barcodes it'll tell you how much of each macronutrient you have left over now you don't have to do the math like i'm doing this now how i'm doing here my fitness pal will show you exactly it'll do all this for you i'm just showing this as an example for those of you who are new to my fitness pal or and iifym so now the beauty of this is that let's say you want to have ice cream okay ice cream usually doesn't have protein in it we'll, we'll say two grams of protein okay then we have usually has carbs let's say two scoops of ice cream 30 grams of carbs okay then fat usually has a lot of fat let's say 15 15 grams okay so again you subtract this so this would be Okay, 156 grams of protein left, 100 grams of carbs, okay, now we have 21 grams of fat left, 100 grams of carbs left, 156 grams of protein left. This was your snack, your dessert. Cool. So the point of this is to show that you can you can have dessert in this style of dieting as long as it fits your budget. If you know how many macros are in any food, then you know how many it takes away. And my fitness pal does that for you. I I F Y M if it fits your macros allows you to do that. Let's say you wanted a pizza slice. Okay, I have this amount of macros left for the day. I can have pizza but it's gonna take away from my budget, my caloric budget, my macronutrient budget, so I have to plan accordingly. But you can still have that pizza. That's the beauty of IIFYM. It allows you to, even if you don't wanna eat, or even if you don't eat pizza and donuts and all that stuff every day, which I don't recommend, but if you don't, if you think that way, you have the option to, and that's what's, that's the beauty behind if it fits your macros. You have the option to if the occurrence occurs. If, the, if it comes up, I don't recommend that you eat donuts and Pop-Tarts and all that stuff. 
every day. I don't recommend that at all, but you have the option to. It's very flexible. IIFYM, if it fits your macros, a synonym would be flexible dieting. You have the option to, which makes it a lot more sustainable. And that's the big message I go over in my book. And it's really, it goes in depth how to track your macros, how to calculate your own macros, tips and tricks, a meal plan, everything like that. So yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys understand why IFYM works. Again, if you are interested in learning more about it, check out my book. The link is in the description below. It is only $5 for a PDF and on Amazon it's currently $5. So if you are interested, make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. I hope this helped and clear things up and I will see you guys in the next one.